Stephen, sir. The signals are coming in fine tonight. Third salvo on target. What about vibration? What about vibration? A radio transmitter to coordinate the movement of troops to keep an unbroken contact between our forces on the ground, in the air, and on the sea. Hey guys, what's up? It's I Can Fly Jake, and today we are talking about a game that I have recently become quite a bit excited for, and that is Dead Matter. And in this game, supposedly zombies are the dead that matter. Um, I've heard the developers stress this, and they say there will be lots of zombies. This is something we've seen a lacking of in other games. Hint, hint, possibly DayZ. Now, no one's saying this game is out there to definitely replace DayZ or anything like that. So for my fans, I'm just ta I'm here to talk about the survival genre in general. So let's get right into a really good game, um, or at least a game that looks really good currently. Now, all these games, you know, everyone's used to the history of games looking good, and then of course being a disappointment. So hey, there's always a possibility that with this, but we're just going to talk about features that are already there. Um, in the game at least somewhat working and we're here today to talk about the uh, crazy attention to detail and just very detailed precise and awesome systems features and content that will be wrapped up in this crazy immersive game you guys I don't even have to talk too much about these immersiveness you can check this out on your own by watching the background footage uh, maybe at the end I'll throw in some just extra immersive footage for you guys to check out but I want to go ahead and dive into the details first up is a functional one-way mirror so there's a prison in game um, that is pretty vast. It kind of reminds you of the Walking Dead prison if you guys have watched the show. And it has a interrogation room um, with a functional one-way mirror, which is really, really cool. And I've never seen this in a game. It probably exists somewhere, but first time I'm hearing of it, and it's awesome to think it might be in this game. Also, the game has incredibly accurate audio. I'll give you a little taste of that here. It also has an electricity grid that in single player will only work for so long. So basically there is like an electricity grid across the entire map that, you know, you're able to tap into in, re you know, various locations across the map. But in single player, when you're trying to go about your surviving um, for an extended period of time, this game kind of runs in a way that reminds me of Project Zomboid. So it's supposed to be very hard in single player or co-op, um, but in multiplayer, of course, servers will have control over how the game runs and such, um, but in single player, so first when you start out, there will be electricity, and you'll be able to actually, you know, hook up lights and stuff to sources of power, and you have to put these close to wall outlets that actually provide electricity, there's a little clip of that here, looks really, really cool, um, I'm so excited to play with this and try this out in the future, this game is still very early, you know, very early alpha, it's not even in early access, but you know, let's, let's go ahead and get talking about it, figure out how to get a few people informed, um, also guys, while you're in a house, you can close window blinds. So, you know, the blinds on the windows, you can shut them to block player and zombies line of sight, which is a really cool idea and feature. Um, when you're wearing gloves, they help with the gun grip slash control in cold conditions. Uh, so yeah, in first person, you can see the type of glove you're wearing. And when it keeps your hand warmer, that gives you better grip and control on your guns, um, specifically in cold situations. Also, to limit the amount of HUD elements or HUD elements, Basically, there will be smartwatches and like in-game GPSs um, to show you your map and stats about your character versus, you know, HUD elements on the screen to show this. Now, I'm sure there will still be some, but this is just to limit it to make it more immersive. And I think that's really cool, especially if it's a good system. We'll have to wait and see if it is. But if you're going to do it, I think this is a good way to do it. Um, let me know your ideas on this. And do you guys prefer a much more um, face forward HUD or do you like it hidden behind in-game actual interactions to give you that information. I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Put that down in the comment section. 
Also, there are building types with very specific types of items spawning. So, for instance, there's hair salons, dollar stores, full-on grocery stores, hardware stores, all of which have very specific types of loot to spawn there. So, in the dollar stores, and you may be thinking, oh, Daisy's already got this, all these games already have this, and to some extent they do, and they could be tweaked in the future, but this game's already got it down, so basically dollar stores are going to spawn cheap food that even lacks nutrition. Uh, hair salons aren't going to spawn much useful stuff at all, um, but they do say, and I quote, it does have supplies in there for crafting and that's like if you have the knowledge for it. So I think that really hints towards the idea of using like hairspray and stuff because we didn't know hairspray is usable for flamethrowers. Uh, well, I say for flamethrowers. That's what we like to do with them. You hold a lighter in front of a hairspray can and you can spray it across it and it will kind of make a flamethrower. And, you know, you can make small type of bomb or explosives with them. Anyways, I'm sure this is the kind of stuff they're hinting at and it is a really cool idea. Also, you can use fire extinguishers from the walls. So if you see a fire extinguisher in a building, you can take that thing out of its case and it's usable. Also on the walls in medical buildings, you may find a defibrillator. These can also be taken off and used, but what's interesting is that they are only going to be having, they're only going to have one charge, considering the electric grids will go down and they will hold one charge. So you got to be careful and make use of these things um, for the one time you use it to save a friend. I'm guessing you really can't save yourself. I don't know, but it's a really cool idea and I'm excited to see what kind of clutch situations happen with those. Also, there are seasons in game. Um, you know, I'm hoping that like all four are pretty defined. I'm in a beautiful fall and a win a winter with snow. This game is set in Alberta, Canada, so obviously there's going to be a lot of snow. And they said the winter conditions will be harsh. There will be careers such as careers in cooking, electronics, medicine, engineering, etc. Um, and basically, this will give a value to your character and will increase um, the reason you have to visit with other characters. And that way, you can exchange skills and you know do things that maybe your character can't do, and you have to use a friend to do that or make a friend to do that. Um, I think this is a really good way of encouraging some player interaction. And again, it reminds me of Project Zomboid because in Project Zomboid you can find books and read them and it will bring up certain skills of your character. And this game actually has libraries and stuff that has books that you can read to increase skills. So Project Zomboid is a really cool idea. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll put a little clip on screen here. Um, but the, the immersiveness of the game isn't really there. Like it's a very detail oriented, you know, top down looking game. Um, and it's cool and all, but this takes that idea, makes it a bit more fun and, you know, immersive with that first person experience. And I really like the idea of that. Also, there's going to be a lot of vehicle variety in the game, more than I thought. And one day we'll have aircrafts, but in the alpha that the closed alpha that will be available towards the end of this year, um, they plan to have a lot of land vehicles, which is really cool. Um, and supposedly even vehicles like trucks will be able to tow trailers. Um, there's a clip of that in the trailer where the guy, you can tow trailers, there's a clip of it in the trailer. Ha! Uh, anyways, um, there's a clip where the guy shoots a trailer of probably propane or some sort of explosive gas and it blows up behind the vehicle. Looks very, very cool. Um, also there is a, the weaponry has inertia and I assume this applies for other items as well. So the heavier the gun has as you're spinning around, uh, if it's a heavy gun, you have more inertia to it, and a lighter gun, of course, will have less inertia. Just another very cool little detail in the game. Um, the gore system looks incredibly accurate, looks awesome, very gory, and I think this, again, just adds to the immersiveness that this game is already full of. All the vehicles have randomly generated license plates, um, which is just a little touch that I thought was interesting. If you glance at all the vehicles in the world, you're going to see you know, varying license plates on them that were, you know, coded by a random generator, which is very cool. And on that note, um, on the highways, all the signs will actually be useful and relative to your location. All the exits on the highways will um, be unique to that, that exit. The signs will actually point towards cities, sort of like Daisy does it, and Daisy does it well. Um, there will also be bullet ricochet and accurate sounds for the bullet ricocheting inside, which sounds really, really awesome, and I'm excited to see what kind of gunfights that causes, um, with also some great weapon customization, and pullable fire alarms in buildings that I'm assuming are going to be incredibly loud and will attract a ton, a ton of zombies. Now guys, if you're still at this point in the video, I thank you guys for watching. I want you guys to go ahead and give me your thoughts in the comment section. Now you may be saying there's still a bit of this video left, and I wanted to leave some awesome gameplay of this game and show you the immersiveness. You can listen to it. Um, I might throw some more commentary in there, but it just looks amazing. Um, and when I say it looks amazing, I mean literally like the graphics and the immersiveness look amazing. I can't guarantee this isn't another game that will, dis you know, it could easily disappoint. It's a quite a small dev team, uh, but they've been releasing somewhat frequent dev vlogs. You can check it out on the Dead Matter YouTube channel. And they always seem pretty promising with lots of uh, progress being made. Um, they claim with the incredible amount of zombies that will be in the game and stuff going on that the game will still run well because of you know whatever kind of improvements they've made to their code um and of course i have my doubts with this but of course you know I i'd love to be presently pleasantly supplied oh my gosh i can't speak i would love to be 
pleasantly surprised by um, the performance of the game. They claim it's pretty good, and so, I mean, hey, you don't want to disappoint us? Don't tell me it's good if it's not good, so maybe it is good. I don't know. That was a really complicated way for me to express that. So, guys, as a Daisy player and sort of survival world genre um, enthusiast, I am very excited to see this game develop and try it out. When I look at the world, it just looks really, really immersive, and I really like the idea of immersive games. Um, and just looking at the foliage and the way the lighting works, I saw that when the character walks through grass, supposedly one day that it's going to leave a trail behind them. I assume this will apply to uh, the snow one day. Um, there's a lot more to talk about regarding this game, but today I wanted to develop... But today I wanted to devote the video more to the details of the game um, and just the list of details I found in the way they talk about the game really almost gives you an idea of how this game will play out and that's just in the details. I haven't even gone in, talked about how the zombies will work, talked about how the other functionalities, um, how big the world will be. I haven't talked about that stuff. And if you guys are interested in, a, in another Dead Matter video, I will probably make more of these on the channel. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like on the video. I want to hear your thoughts on the game. Does it look cool to you? What are you skeptical about? Skeptical about? What do you want changed? Um, hey, their community is listening. You can go tweet them on their Twitter. It's at Dead Matter Game. Give them advice. They have a forum. Talk to me. Talk to them. Talk to everybody. Um, I'm excited about the game. We'll just have to see where it goes. It's still a long way out, but might as well start getting excited about it now because the hype is fun. And personally, I think the hype is there. So. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video or live stream.